Hello everyone, I'm Andy here from Scrimping Mummy. I'm here to share my latest design team project for the Graphics Fairer. Um, in return for doing our um, projects, we do receive a um, free subscription to the Yearly Premium site, which is absolutely fantastic. I can highly recommend it. So all of the images in here 99.9% .9 of them anyway are from the premium site um, so let's have a look so this journal measures I'm not actually sure I've measured it it measures um, 4 and 7 eighths by um, 8 and 3 eighths so I just kind of constructed it and the cover became whatever size it needed to be to fit so it's a I've used quite heavyweight chipboard in this one and then layered it with some good quality cardstock and um, yeah so it's it's nice and sturdy is that one we have this belly band closure I was going to glue it to the back of the book um, so that it was a permanent fixture but I thought in case the person that ends up with the journal it is actually already sold as this one doesn't like it then they can just easily remove it if it becomes um, you know cumbersome or <clears throat> so it would uh, either slide off or unfasten here with the strings and I've made this out of craft card and then I've used various inks and glazes on it to try and give it a kind of a full leather look um, so it is all sealed with acrylic varnish etc to make it nice and sturdy so like I say you can just uh, slide it off so the front part here is I didn't think it needed any more than just this collage section so this is uh, some of the printables on the European travel I think that it's called, let me just check, European Train Travel is the main kit that I used and within that um, bundle are some fantastic collage sheets which I've used uh, a lot throughout the book and I just honed in on this picture of these children here sat waiting at the train station to go on their travels and just used my um, decollage ruler to rip it to size, inked it and glued, glued it to the front and I don't feel like it needs any more than that. So let's get inside. We've got 108 pages front to back. Um, it is a Victorian travel journal is the name of this. Um, and I have created it very much for somebody to use as a travel journal and ensured there's lots and lots of writing space. But I can't help myself but to be quite decorative with my journals as well and have a bit of a story. So this is a, a travel journal. So um, whoever the, the person is that owns this has gone on the travels. So in this pocket here we've got some airmail envelopes. Um, they're not, uh, uh, the fake and some postcards for when they want to send letters home and in there is some lovely writing paper okay and I've just created this pocket again using the collage sheets alright and then in this little envelope here we've got a collection of let me just show you because obviously if you're going to write letters you're going to need some stamps so we've got a collection of fake vintage stamps they're not real they're either stickers or digital prints but uh, it's nice and fun and it ties in with the theme so let's get uh, through here I'll just get that in properly so we've got um, a hidden um, hidden binding so you can't see the stitch in there I've hidden it Okay, and the inside of the cover is layered with very sturdy craft card stock. I just thought that the craft card was more in fitting with kind of the travel theme. So here we've got, uh, this is from the digital, from the bundle. It's a, a journal page, beautiful. And I've just uh, stuck over this little like um, piece of writing um, paper here. Uh, because it has days of the weeks on and it didn't run in order of what I wanted so I've covered it over so the person can write there and write there and write there and then throughout I've reprinted some lots and lots of tickets and ephemera that you can print out singular change the sizes of them do what you want with them so I've printed them out 
um, you know you can paste them onto a word document very easily re shrink them down and print you know lots of things out at the same time you, you can basically do your own thing and I have stapled a lot of things and paper clipped a lot of things because I think that if you're on your travels <laughs> you would just be using what you've got um, so you would be just clipping a lot of things in memorabilia etc so as we can see we've got lots and lots of writing paper so here is a vintage map or a fake vintage map Let me just get that paper clip back and on here we've got some this says musings so this is uh, part of the digital bundle so this is a map of London which if you have the graphics fairy premium site there's a little box at the top where you can search so you don't have to look within the bundles just type in a keyword and see what comes up and I just typed in maps and it brought up all of the images of maps that they had and so I uh, printed some of them out and then uh, on the back printed coffee stained a uh, coffee stained uh, print and then went about aging them to make them look old. I do have a video over on my channel of how I made this is just copy of paper and how I made it look like it was an old map. So and then I've just added one of these tiny paper clips um, just for a bit of extra fun. So that just clips on the side like I say so that the owner um, can remove them if they want and add their own ephemera from maybe their own travels. So this here is a photocopy of a vintage Michelin travel guide to France that I have in my collection but I won't use genuine, the genuine article so I photocopy it and then so because it is France we've got a little picture of uh, the Eiffel Tower there and we've got a, a ticket for something in that you know says Parisian so it just keys it in and we've got a little paper bag here to put in memorabilia maybe uh, ticket stubs or um, you know I like to collect like um, if I go to a cafe and the uh, coffee mats have got the name on or like um, business cards and things like that I always pick them up when I go on holiday put things like that in there there's a writing space loads of writing space and this is uh, one of the digital pages with this these lovely children on again layered up and I've told myself that the <laughs> sat in the train station waiting to go and I found these in my collection which are fake little tickets for Disneyland so they're waiting to go to, to Disneyland in Paris I don't even know if it was open <laughs> in that period of time but we'll we'll pretend it was doesn't matter if it's not 100% historically correct <laughs> And then I've used some tea dyed, uh, coffee dyed envelopes throughout my journal. There's one in each signature. And I've just done a little tucking spot here by just very simply ripping some of the collage paper just to the right length and then glue it on two sides. You don't have to do complicated tucks, flips and pockets for journals. You can literally just rip a piece of paper. And look how lovely that looks, inked and added onto there. And then inside I found this little advertisement. I cut this, uh, cut it out of one of the collage sheets. Um, so that just tucks in there. Okay. And then each envelope has, has an opening. And so I've just made some little um, journaling cards there out of index cards bit of stamping, um, use the collage sheets for a tab and then on the back we've got some little tickets. Okay. So every one of the envelopes has a little bit of something in. So there's a photo of those children again, I just thought it was so lovely. More writing space, uh, just plain coffee dye but I've added some Tim Holtz washi tape there, I just love it, it's like maps of the world and it's just got a touch of red so it just helps add a little bit of colour because I don't like vintage journals to end up being too just brown where everything's brown um, it's a little bit boring and so you will see pops of colour in here so eat the center of each signature has one of these double pockets uh, which I've made out of as you can see on my background here on the table and um, vintage yeah, I've got an old vintage atlas um, from a uh, second-hand bookshop and I use it a lot in my crafting making pockets and tags so the center of each signature has got one of these double pockets 
um, and I made this journal um, card here with the collage sheet, some bits and bobs and then this is a little domino um, collage piece that's also available in that same bundle and then on this side we've got these um, printable vintage postcards again they're part of the same bundle the European train travel and then these are just some manila tags that uh, I had in my collection and I've just very simply stamped with a travel theme stamp and this says life is a beautiful journey and I just thought that went lovely okay so some more of these tickets you'll see them all dotted about they're all from the kit uh, yeah, another one of the envelopes there. This one's got little tags, and then in this one, it's a little bit different. I use that; seems to be my favourite image. I've used it quite a few times, and um, but that's the beauty of the Graphics Fairy site is you can print things out as many times as you like. It's wonderful, um, and home in on the images that you like, and also you're able to um, when they do these collage um, sheets. They will list underneath which ones of their images they've used. So then if you click on that, it will take you to example straight to that photo. So if you like just that, you can print just that out. So here I've made a shaker element, which you can write on the back. I just thought it was a bit of fun. So that goes in there. Okay, right in. So we'll speed up a little bit now. Um, because I've more or less explained again and um, this was it just in my collection this is in the kit and I was able to print them out singularly well I copy and pasted them onto a, onto a document and then printed them out all right so this is the like um, diary sheet I suppose so we've got Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday so you come right uh, what you've been doing all week on there Okay, another one of my vintage maps. I won't open it all because it's much the same as the previous one, but this is a map of Europe and we've got some travel tickets just attached on, on there to, for safekeeping. So more of this Michelin um, vintage travel um, document and then on the back there we've got a map of London, the city of London. Another bag, more writing. So I've used the same... Um, pages throughout and just uh, repeated them in each in each signature um, I think it gives it cohesiveness and um, it makes your life a little bit easier you don't have to have every single page different you can repeat pages so I love this page because I just love the collection of tickets and things um, that are on there it really does look like it's uh, somebody's collected those from their travels so again we've just got this scrappy belly band and that just holds on this I've just literally trimmed it off one of the cards that I was making stamped it stuck on a ticket with a um, uh, what are they called? I've forgotten the name of them. <laughs> Staple! <laughs> and then because it's just like that, then it can just hook onto there and just um, sat at that angle. It just looks a little bit in disarray and, and I just like it. And so in here we've got another journal in card and there's the little tickets on the back, the same as previous. More tickets, these are like stickers that I've gotten in my collection. This is from the kit. And so we've come to the centre of this signature. So again, we've got a vintage postcard and a tag. And this is a Tim Holtz stamp. Okay. So there we go again. We've got another little tag. That you can find lots of tags on the site as well. If you type into that search bar that I was talking about, if you put in, um, I don't know, what's, what, what would that be? Um, luggage tag then all of the different luggage tags will come up. You can save them to a different document. You can shrink them down, do what you want with them. Okay, I'll print them out as they are. More tickets. These ones are from my collection. I can't remember where I've got those. I don't know if they are from Graphics Fairer, from just searching. Um, and this is another travel-related ticket. So let's fly through. Um... More, lots and lots of journaling space another vintage aged map there that's Great Britain there's lots on the site for you to choose from ok more little tickets added on more of that lovely writing paper another envelope and another kind of shipping tag that's another keyword so journal um, um, luggage tag shipping tag 
you know if you type those kind of keywords into the site you will come across all sorts of things another pocket there with another vintage um, postcard this one here is um, a map of a Chicago a park in Chicago I think <laughs> Chicago Illinois it says I just thought it was fun like if you were visiting as a tourist to have a map of the park more tickets there and uh, now this um, ripped envelope look um, I got this from watching another lady I'm sure it was um, is it Jack S. Sprague or Jacqueline Sprague? I can't always remember people's names, I'm really bad. Um, but she quite often will put real, a lot of real vintage ephemera in her journals. And, and I've seen lots of times she's got like envelopes, with the, she has them normally has them that way with all of the address on. And then they're just torn open. And it just happened that this envelope got ripped and I just remembered that what that lady does in her work. And I thought that looked fab, because I just thought... It just looks like you've just used an old envelope there, um, <laughs> you know, as it appears. And I just thought it looked fabulous. So then we just got more maps at the back of a little bag there again. And then we've got a lovely little, I think that's a Tim Holtz one, not sure. Okay, lots of writing. And I love this page because the, those little images that I've used individually throughout are on this um, on this page that Graphics Fairy have clustered together for you so it looks fabulous so there you go I hope you like my Victorian travel journal I hope that you will go and have a look at the Graphics Fairy premium site don't forget to use your keywords in that search box at the top it's at the top of the site and it's on the right hand corner and you'll see like a um, like a magnifying glass shape so in that box you can type any keyword that you're looking for and things will come up you know if you're even looking for blue butterflies type in blue butterflies and things will come up it's extremely well um well thought out and well done is the site so um so there you go thanks for watching i really enjoyed making this take care and enjoy the rest of your day bye for now